When building or upgrading a PC, one of the most crucial components to consider is the graphics card. A good GPU can greatly enhance your gaming or editing experience, but with so many options available, it can be challenging to choose the right one for your needs and budget. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 5 best GPUs that cost under $300, all of which can smoothly handle gameplay at 1080p and even 1440p. These graphics cards are also perfect for builds with a total cost between $750 and $1,100. So, if you're looking to improve your gaming setup without breaking the bank, stick around to learn more. Number 5 on our list is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050, which is a budget-friendly option that offers solid performance for those who are looking to play games at 1080p. It has 2560 CUDA cores, 8GB of GDDR6 memory, and a clock speed of up to 1.8GHz. At release, this GPU was priced at $249, but due to the current GPU shortage, it's currently difficult to find at its original price. Expect to pay around $250 to $300 if you're looking to get your hands on one. And the three most appealing graphics cards available at the moment are the Gigabyte Gaming OC with triple fans and black and silver color scheme, the PNY Verto Dual Fan, and the most affordable and my personal favorite, which is the Zotac Gaming Twin Edge. At number 4, we have the GeForce RTX 2060, which is a popular choice among budget-conscious gamers due to its excellent performance for its price. It has 1920 CUDA cores and 6GB of GDDR6 memory, making it capable of handling 1080p and 1440p gaming. It also supports ray tracing in DLSS. At release, this GPU was priced at $349, and it hadn't depreciated at all, as it can still be found for around $300 to $350. And the best option available at the moment is the Asus Dual Fan Evo Edition OC. Next we have the Radeon RX 5700 XT which is a mid-range graphics card that was released in 2019. It has 2,560 stream processors and 8GB of GDDR6 memory, making it capable of handling 1440p and even 4K gaming. It also supports ray tracing and has a boost clock of 1905 MHz. At release, this GPU was priced at $399, but it can now be found for around $300 to $350. While it can be hard to find at less than $300, discounts do pop up from time to time. Number 2 on our list is the Radeon RX 6600 XT, that offers great performance for its price. It has 2048 stream processors and 8GB of GDDR6 memory, making it capable of handling 1440p gaming with ease. It also supports ray tracing and has a boost clock of 2589 MHz. At release, this GPU was priced at $379, but it can now be found for around $300, and sometimes even less. And the best graphics cards utilizing this GPU are, the Power Color Fighter with its full black design, and the MSI Mech 2 XOC which will be perfect with a black and white build. And finally, our number one pick for the best GPU under $300 is the Radeon RX 6650 XT. It has 2048 stream processors and 8GB of GDDR6 memory, making it capable of handling 1440p gaming with ease. It also supports ray tracing and has a boost clock of 2635 MHz. It's essentially the same GPU as the RX 6600 XT but with higher frequencies, so you can expect a couple more FPS. At release, this GPU was priced at $399 but it can now be found for around $300, which is the same price as the 6600 XT, so it's a no-brainer to privilege this card. And the two best options available at the moment are, the MSI Mech 2 XOC, and my personal favorite, the XFX Speedster Kick 308, which has a robust build with a full black color scheme, that's gonna match pretty much any build, and that is the best graphics card that you can have for under that $300 at the moment. Overall, if you have around $300 to spend on a graphics card, the RX 6650 XT is our top pick. 
It offers great performance for its price and is a reliable and future-proof choice for gamers and creators. And if you are an NVIDIA diehard, I think that the RTX 3050 is still a good pick. And keep in mind that the prices fluctuate a lot in this market, so be sure to check the prices and compare for yourself before making any decisions. All the products featured in this video will be linked down below if you want to check them, and if you have any suggestions on the next budget we should discuss, let me know in the comments below.